What's up, guys? I'm gonna make this. Um, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. So here's another. Here's another video. Um, I got a couple of others that I recently recorded over the past few days. I'm gonna upload those soon too. But um, I wanted to get this one out. Um, Canyon from WCW died today. Um, he died at the age of 40, and what some are saying it was a uh, overdose on medication pills. Um, and an apparent suicide attempt, so another another famous name in the history of WCW and professional wrestling in general had to die for no reason. Um, what sources have said that the canyon was found dead in his apartment, and it was in fact an Paris, uh, apparent suicide attempt. So, uh, another, another great wrestler come and gone. Go. Uh, Canyon was always one of my favorite wrestlers. I even remember in WCW when he was in um, singles competition and when he wrestled as, as a part of uh, Raven's Flock. Um, Canyon, he um, he put on a bunch of good matches, and I'll uh, I'll be honest with you. Even the matches that he lost, I still thought they were pretty good. Uh, I thought this was one of those guys who can. Uh, this is one of the guys who can put on a good show, whether he's a heel or a face, or he can leave you sitting on the edge of your seat with a good match, win, lose, or draw, along with many of the other guys that you saw back then. Um, and um, I just got an email now saying, um, which member of the WCW ECW alliance do you remember the most during their time during the WWF versus the ECW WCW invasion storyline. What superstar do you remember the most, and which one do you really like about that person? Well, I'll answer that question now. Um, the superstar, uh, the superstar, I, one of the many that I liked, and I liked a whole bunch of them, but one of the very many that I liked was Canyon, it was primarily because of his, um, it was primarily because of his catchphrase, "Who better than Canyon?" You know, he had it on the back of his. Um, he had on the back of his t-shirts when he would make his way to the ring. And, um, I remember one t-shirt he had, it said Alliance MVP, and on the back it said, Who Better Than Canyon? And another one he wore said Invasion MVP, and it said, Who Better Than Canyon on it, so. Um, that was pretty good, along with all the, along with all the matches that he pulled off. They were, uh, they were pretty good. One of the um, one of the things I'll re always remember about Canyon was how um, the first, so to say, the first match of Canyon's during the Invasion storyline that I really liked and I really got hooked on to see him in singles competition. It was in um, uh, September twenty fourth of two thousand and one. Uh, Canyon had a mini feud with. Uh, Matt Hardy was, was uh, Canyon was hitting on Lita, and Matt Hardy finally put a stop to it by beating him on an uh, episode of Raw. And um, the match that I saw, I thought was pretty good. Um, no, I'm sorry. No, Canyon beat Matt Hardy. I'm thinking of another match that they had where Matt won. But um, that uh, that night on September 24th of 01, um, their, um, their first match in the feud, Canyon beat Matt Hardy. And then I think on SmackDown, uh, Canyon and um, Rhino or Lance Storm or something. I think it was Lance Storm. Lance Storm and Canyon um, had a tag team match against the Hardy Boys, and the Hardys beat them. And um, since then, there was really nothing left going on for Canyon. They put him on the B shows and. In um, October 29th, I think it was, of 2001, Canyon had a match in, uh, in a dark match. He had a match against Randy Orton, and he tore his ACL, and he was out for about six and a half months, and he didn't come back until 2002. And by then, the Invasion storyline had already been done with. So, uh, uh, the last I saw Canyon, um, he was in... Um, uh, SmackDown in an episode of 2000, in 2003, the February 13th episode, um, there was a large crew from the Big Show, um, 
that was given to the Undertaker, and uh, Candy came out dressed as Boy George, singing "Do You Really Want to Hurt Me?" and that made me that made me laugh. And when I finally saw him, I'm like, "Wait a minute, I know who that is. That's Canyon. Where's he been?" And um, I thought he had gotten released, and then he came back, but um, he uh, primarily wrestled dark matches when he came back. It was late 2002 to early 2003. Canyon was wrestling in dark matches. So, um, he, um, he wrestled in, uh, 2003 for a couple of months, and then in February of 2004, um, his WWE wasn't using him in any major storylines, and because he had too many injuries, uh, Canyon asked for his release from his contract, and then in August of 2004, he asked for, he, uh, officially went into retirement. And um, I think it was also around that time, if I remember, I think it was either, I think it was either 2000 and, I think it was either 2006 or it was 2004, I forgot when it was, but I think it was in 2000, I think it was in 2006, Canyon admitted that he was homosexual, so, uh, say what you want about that. Um, that's never really bothered me, you know, whether whether anyone's gay or lesbian or straight or bi or not sure what they are or whatever like that. That's never really bothered me, as long as it doesn't interfere with me or my life or what I'm doing. I'm fine with them. But um, sexual orientation aside, Canyon, he was um, he was a great wrestler and probably probably the likes of one we'll never see again. Um, so um, click on the um, click on the subscription box. Uh, check out some more of my videos that I'm going to be uploading within the next couple of days. I know they're a couple of weeks old, but um, the original days so I recorded them along with this one. I'll put in the um, I'll put in the um, description so you're not getting the dates confused and so on. So excuse me. Um, You'll see um, notes in the next upcoming videos that I record or that I upload as they've been there a couple of weeks due. Uh, you'll see in the description box it says original original date recorded and then whatever date it is. So uh, check out some more of my videos, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Later.